Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Youssef. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, held a telephone call with His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Tariq Al Saeed of Oman. His Royal Highness and His Majesty discussed their bilateral relations and cooperation and ways to enhance them in various fields. His Majesty Sultan Haytham expressed his deep pride and appreciation for the relations and ties between the two countries. He wished Bahrain and its people further progress and prosperity under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and wished His Royal Highness lasting good health and happiness. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, expressed his appreciation for His Majesty the Sultan for his keenness to promote relations between the two countries, wishing him lasting good health and happiness and Oman further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting and Secretary General Dr. Yasser Al Nasser issued the following statement. The cabinet hailed the royal speech of His Majesty the King on the occasion of Eid al-Adha, affirming that His Majesty's directives to the government has supported its efforts to combat COVID-19 and handle its repercussions to mitigate its health and economic effects, adding that the government is more determined to continue its development efforts in various circumstances and challenges. The cabinet also hailed the royal directives to provide urgent relief aid to Lebanon, which reflects Bahrain's support of brotherly countries and disasters. The cabinet expressed Bahrain's full solidarity with the brotherly Lebanese people in confronting the effects of the terrible explosion that occurred in the port of Beirut and overcoming its repercussions. The cabinet expressed sincere condolences to the families of the victims and wished a speedy recovery for the injured, praying to Allah the Almighty to protect Lebanon and its people. The cabinet then congratulated the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, led by the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, and the Crown Prince, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman Al Saud, on the success of Hajj and its perfect organization, and the successful health and preventive measures taken due to the coronavirus pandemic. The cabinet also congratulated the UAE for starting the operation of the Baraka nuclear power plant and described it as an astonishing historical Emirati achievement and a source of pride for the Gulf, Arab and Islamic countries. The cabinet reviewed the results of the actual semi-annual closings of ministries and government agencies for the fiscal year 2020. The cabinet also reviewed the reports of the state's consolidating final account and the budget ex execution performance as well as the transfers between the appropriations of the state's general budget for the fiscal year 2019. The cabinet reviewed a report submitted by the Deputy Prime Minister and President of the Ministerial Committee for Financial, Economic and Fiscal Balance on the work implemented by the committee in 22 meetings held during the first half of this year. The cabinet approved the imposition of final anti-dumping duties on the kingdom's imports of cardboard originating in Spain and Poland. The cabinet discussed a draft law on external auditors to be in line with the latest legislations and provisions required for the external auditing profession and to encourage qualified Bahrainis to practice the profession and increase the number of qualified offices in the kingdom. The cabinet hailed the constructive cooperation that distinguished parliamentary government work in the second session of the fifth legislative term of the Shura and Representatives Councils. The cabinet approved the issuance of a license for Ahya Renewable Company to produce and sell electricity for the 100 megawatt solar power plant project. A draft law amending a number of provisions of the reorganization and bankruptcy law was referred to the Representatives Council. The cabinet approved a proposal on the acquisition of an old house in Asa town to become a historical center for the town. A proposal on documentation offices and the governorate was also approved. The cabinet also approved a proposal on providing suitable isolation rooms for those arriving in Bahrain from countries affected by the coronavirus and conducting the required tests for them. The cabinet was briefed on the result of the virtual forum on the impact of the pandemic on education organized by the Arab League Educational, Cultural and Scientific Organization. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for his continuous humanitarian and noble initiatives to help and relieve the afflicted. His Highness also thanked His Majesty for praising the efforts exerted by His Highness in leading the Royal Humanitarian Foundation and the speedy implementation of His Majesty's directives to deliver urgent humanitarian and relief aid to Lebanon. 
His Highness expressed pride in His Majesty the King's praise of the role to the RHF's relief work team, pledging to exert more effort and work diligently to serve the Kingdom under His Majesty's leadership. He affirmed that His Majesty is a role model in generosity and humanitarian work. RHF Secretary General Mustafa Say Sayyid hailed the motivating appreciation of His Majesty the King to all RHF members, commending the humanitarian and noble stances to support afflicted countries. He noted that the foundation in coordination with the Ministry of Health is studying transferring a number of wounded and injured Lebanese people to receive treatment in Bahraini hospitals and sending a special medical team to Lebanon to contribute to rescue efforts and treat the injured. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, affirmed that Bahrain continues with determination and steadfast steps towards achieving its development goals at all levels, despite the challenges resulting from the drop in oil prices in global markets. He noted that all plans, initiatives and efforts come from a clear working approach by Team Bahrain, which affirms that the interest of the homeland is the supreme interest and that the citizen is the top priority. The minister added that work continues to, in order to achieve positive growth for the national economy while fulfilling the objectives of the fiscal balance program, which contributes to strengthening economic development initiatives and creating quality opportunities for citizens. He noted that the announcement of the result of the semi-annual closing of ministries and government agencies that ended on June 30th of 2020 comes in light of the exceptional circumstances that the Kingdom and the world are experiencing with the spread of the coronavirus pandemic and its repercussions on health and economic and financial levels. He affirmed that Team Bahrain, with its determination and solidarity, is able to overcome all challenges for the interest of all. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 2,882, with 418 recoveries, 382 registered new cases and one death. The deceased was a 38-year-old male citizen, and the Ministry expressed its sincere condolences to the family of the deceased. The Ministry of Health urges everyone to adhere to the rules, follow instructions, and avoid public places when possible.